good morning dear students so already we have started with lesson life processes and the various life processes we have seen in the chapter the name of that lesson is life processes in that various life processes we have seen such as nutrition uh, digestion involved in it various type of process of nutrition we have seen after it uh, blood circulation we have seen how arteries and uh, veins are play playing an important role in our body we have seen at the last we have seen excretion in human beings especially in human beings most of the life processes we are going to say uh, we are going to see in case of only human beings so excretion in human beings we have seen and the basic filtration unit in our body that is kidney the structure of kidney also we have seen but now what is the basic fundamental unit of the kidney and structure of that uh, basic fundamental unit of the kidney we are going to see and the uh, name of that basic fundamental unit of the kidney is called as a nephron as we all are knowing cell is the structural and functional unit of life all human beings and all plants and animals are made up of cell so basic structural and functional unit or the fundamental unit of life is cell such as we have seen our lungs means our respiratory system we have seen lungs so basic structural and functional unit of the lungs in the lungs we have seen that is alveoli as well as in our control and coordination chapter we have seen uh, circulatory uh, coordination system in that also we have seen the smallest unit of our Uh, control and coordination system that is called as a neuron so basic unit for every system or every life process is required so here we are going to see the basic structural unit of kidney is nephron so students you are going to see millions and billions of nephrons millions and billions nephrons are present in every kidney here only we have two kidneys so are present in every kidney and kidneys are filtering actually 180 liter of 180 liter of blood in a day <coughs> so we are going nephron is the basic functional unit of the excretory system that is kidney so how this nephron is working how is the structure is designed into the kidney uh, of nephron we will see for that sake we have to draw a small diagram you also can draw along with me it's very simple diagram to draw you can learn it and this diagram is actually okay to draw in your exams also so i will just let you know how to draw this diagram
So this is called as a apparent renal uve. The word renal is related to the kidney. Apparent renal uve, and this is called as a efferent. renal tubule. This part is afferent renal tubule. This part is efferent renal tubule. This is actually nothing but a, your blood capillaries. The blood enters through this afferent renal tubule. Actually blood enters for the purification purpose into the nephron through afferent renal tubule. Understood students? Blood enters into the nephron through afferent renal tubule. The, this is little bit wider as compared to the apparent renal tubule. And after filtration, the blood goes out. Here blood filters and after filtration, blood goes through every part of the body again through afferent renal tubule. See, A comes first. So you can keep in mind that through A, blood enters into the nephron through afferent renal tubule and through afferent renal tubule, blood goes after purification. So here, this is called as the afferent renal tubule and this is afferent renal tubule. These renal tubules are nothing but your blood capillaries. So this is actually the network of the blood capillaries. And this network of the blood capillaries is said to be glomerulus. Glo Mu, Ru, Plus, Glomerulus. This network of the blood capillary is said to be Glomerulus. And this cup-like structure is said to be Bowman's capsule. This is said to be Bowman's capsule. And Glomerulus and Bowman's capsule together is said to be Malphigian. Or we can say as a unit. 
the body has to again has to get back or body is required this part this part is not comes into the excretory system or this part does not come into the excretion so what happens here now proximal convoluted tubule from here is all filtered still i can say still i have not said said for this particles urine why i have not said for for particle urine because still this particle is not only urine this particle contains glucose vitamins water amino acids so these are not still urine so this i can say as a glomerulus filtrate now this glomerulus filtrate will pass through the henle's tube now here what will happen first process we have seen that is glomerulus filtration glomerulus filtration process has taken place now here what will happen the osmoregulation process takes place osmoregulation means what will happen here what will happen the water according to the uh, according to the necessity of the individuals water necessary the water will get reabsorbed through this walls if the person has enough quantity of water or person has drunk a more amount of water then that water will get passed through this but more amount of water will again get back to the uh, walls and then again mix to the blood so more amount of water will not get filtered will not get uh, will not convert into the urine otherwise we have to go frequently for the urination but we are not going because excess water is getting absorbed by the wall of this henle's tubule and so that this is called as a regulation process or water reabsorption process so this here in henle henle's tube what happens water reabsorption process takes place water reabsorption takes place in the henle's loop what happens here excess amount of water is getting absorbed by the walls of the henle's tube so this is the second point of the next round now here you can see the third point which is at the posterior point or we can say at the distant at the last of the neck that is called as a distal convoluted tube here what happens now all the particles means glucose vitamins water amino acids urea uric acid and salt still water is getting absorbed but other glucose vitamins uh, as well as iron urea so here what will happen glucose will get reabsorbed vitamins and amino acid and some amount of water again will get reabsorbed and once it will get reabsorbed it will again it will mix to the arteries because the network of arteries is present so it will reabsorb through this arteries and it will reach to again this efferent renal tubule means all the glucose vitamins and amino acids will not get absorbed or not uh, will be the part of the urine it will get absorbed back by the blood and it will go to the renal tubule in this manner now it is called as a pure urine after it is pure urine we enter into this main duct or we can say it is a collecting duct it will enter into the collecting duct after collecting the after every from every day from the urine will get activated or will get collect into the collecting duct and in the collecting duct after collecting duct we have seen the structure of kidney that we have seen in the kidney it will get accumulate after kidney it will get accumulate into urethra and after urethra it will get accumulate into urinary bladder and through that it will get uh, <coughs> pass out we can urinate but here i would like to ask a question related to this nephron is why we uh, do not urinate more during summer season why we frequently we urinate during winter season what is the reason behind it can you know the reason to me okay i would only really like to explain you the reason behind it because in winter season what what happens we sweat very 
tubercles are also present some excretory material and plant is also getting rid of that excretory material through that plant materials too okay as well as plants are also excretion in plants as well as secretion 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 is also one kind of excretion in plant what plants are secreted plants are secreted latex milky white juice latex is a milky white juice in part we use cheek for it so latex is a milky white juice the plant is getting rid of this latex also sometimes as well as gum gum you are knowing gum gum dinka in marathi we say dinka for it so this gum is also one kind of secretion of plant as well as lac lac is also one kind of secretion of the plants so do you get students in excretion of plants there are two types that is excretion exactly and the secretion so plant is performing two roles that is photosynthesis and another is transpiration so what happens in photosynthesis process <coughs> stomata is actually releasing out oxygen and taking in oxygen taking in carbon dioxide so giving out of oxygen or release of oxygen is one kind of excretion as well as transpiration loss of excess water through stomata loss of excess water through stomata is called as a transpiration process so these two processes are involved in the excretion as well as plant contains some small vacuoles plant vacuoles so this plant vacuoles also contains some excretory material in it and plant is getting rid of it uh, through excretion process only as well as excretion is plant in takes place through secretion plant contains mainly latex gum and lac these all are essential for human kind okay most of the tribal communities who are living in the jungle are mostly depend on these products forest products also 